Europe's official 1980s multi-tribute concert comes to Leicester. It's time to dig out your 80s fashions and party. My special guest is Greg, and he's here to chat to, to us about a very special show. Hi, Greg. Hello, how's it going? Very well, and uh, welcome to the show. And I know you've got a very busy schedule, so I do really do appreciate the time that you're taking to talk to our listeners. That's OK, no problem. So, Greg, uh, tell us about your show, 80s Mania. Well, 80s Mania. Um, if, if you like the 80s, you'll like 80s Mania. Um, we have um, 28 tributes in the show, and we're talking people like Duran Duran, like you've just played, Spandau Ballet, Madness, um, Aha, Madonna, of course, um, Cindy Lauper, Kim Wilde, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Depeche Mode, oh, the list is endless. And uh, uh, is it a tribute show, Greg? Yes, it's a tribute show, yeah, and um, we, um, we have three front singers, and they dress up and act exactly like... The, um, the, like the, the front singers of all the bands so you get sort of the exact experience of how they were back in the 80s Greg, clearly the 80s is uh, a very memorable era of music perhaps the most memorable era of music so for you um, it must be quite a challenge to choose the tracks from such a big catalogue how does you know how do you choose those final 28 well yes that's a very that's a very good point really uh, we tend to concentrate on the four the, the first few years of the 80s and more European than American if you know what I mean so we're talking sort of new romantic type um, uh, songs and uh, I'm of a certain age let's say um, when um, when the 80s was really my thing so um, you know uh, me and my partner Vicky we we picked the set because um, we were there and we knew what was was right at the time. Greg, this is probably the toughest question of our chat. Oh, go um, on. What are your personal three favourite 80s songs? Oh, well, <laughs> yes. Um, I have so many, and that's the problem. Um, I do like um, uh, Depeche Mode. Um, uh, I like the Human League, really, as well, of course. The Human League, put me on the spot really, a bit, really. We went to the Human League in Solly Hall not too long ago. So, Don't You Want Me, Baby, we really like that song, definitely. Um, I like um, our opening song, actually, is Frankie Goes to Hollywood, which is Two Tribes, which I like that as well. And we are our secret Madness fans as well, really, so anything by Madness will do. That's brilliant. Greg, what's your own role in the show? Because you kind of mentioned lots of different aspects, but, you know, in terms of your own role, what do you bring to the show? What do I do? Right, I'm the uh, I'm a producer and the musical director and the keyboard player in the show. So I'm on the, I'm on the stage all the time with the band, just making sure everything is supposed to go exactly as it should do. Greg, can you tell us who some of the other lead performers are in the show? Uh, we have Vicky Holland Bowyer, who's actually um, a co-producer with me, uh, and we have uh, David Barnes, actually one of the lead singers, who was actually on The Voice. Wow! Um, and uh, Dave's joined us, which is great. And then we have Brad Coleman, who's another singer, um, who's a young lad. He's only twenty years old, uh, but he's a really good talent, and uh, we're really lucky to find him. Can you uh, describe the costumes and the look, you know, uh, for the show? Oh, yes. Well, we, de we definitely go down very authentic uh, and iconic 80s costumes. And, of course, the moves with the dancers as well. We, we try to get the dancers, they're all very nicely choreographed with exact 80s moves. Not so much modern dance, but dance as they were back in the 80s. So when you get there and you look at the stage, you are transported back instantly. Can't wait, Greg. Uh, Greg, do you use any visual imagery or effects in the show? Um, yes, there's some video um, uh, that we have in the background to enhance, um, you know, the, um, the artists. Uh, and, of course, really sort of bring you back into that time um, of, of the 80s. You know, we really like to sort of trans transport people back to that time, maybe 1982, 1983, with genuine costumes and dance routines. Um, and uh, over 150 costumes, actually, in wow. the show, which sounds an enormous amount. And believe you me, it's quite chaotic backstage, I can tell you. Greg, you've certainly whet the appetite, so we're going to let our listeners uh, uh, enjoy some of the goodness of your work, and then we'll talk some more. OK, thank you. Thank you. 
80s Mania is Europe's official 1980s multi-tribute concert featuring no less than 28 chart-topping pop icons authentically recreated with live band and awesome dancers performing over 35 chart-topping smash hits live in concert including tributes to Duran Duran, Human League, Kim Wilde and many, many more. Jasmine has chatting with Greg, one of the producers and um, multi-talented artist himself from the uh, 80s Mania show. Uh, Greg, how long has the show been running and why did you decide to create the 80s Mania show? The show has been running for 11 years, actually. Wow. The, even though we've only actually been to the Haymarket in Leicester once before, that was last year. And that was uh, a brilliant night. The crowd was amazing. So we're looking forward to a really good night again this year. Um, why did we make it? That's a great question. Um, I think at the time, 11 years ago, Vicky and myself were sitting around one night thinking what sort of show we would like to go out and see. Um, and we couldn't really find that kind of show, so we thought we'd make one ourselves. And, um, you know, when you look at your audience, Greg, uh, who is uh, your typical audience member? What sort of audience does your show appeal to? Yeah, that's a really good question, because actually I think the audience members are getting younger. We look out um, a lot of the time and we see teenagers singing all the words to the songs, which is really weird. Um, I think that's probably sort of your, your um, you know, the, the fact that it's so popular on radio nowadays that everybody's playing 80s music. But it, it literally spans from, eight, from 18 up to, you know, let's say 80. Um, there's, um, there's so many people that, uh, that come along and enjoy. If you can remember the 80s, you're going to love the show. Fantastic. How widely and far afield uh, have you performed? Well, with 80s Mania, we've, um, we've gone all over Europe, um, and uh, we're going, we've, I can't remember if we've been to Dubai, uh, Dubai or are going, uh, we've been to Dubai already and we're going for New Year's Eve as well onto the QE2 with um, 80s Mania to, uh, to um, bring in next year in Dubai, which is going to be great. But um, yeah, we've toured all over Europe with it uh, and it's very successful. Um, they like it in, in Holland and Germany and places like that, yeah. Um, Greg, if you've had the privilege of meeting uh, one of the 80s sort of uh, icons or many of the 80s icons, who's the most uh, you know, special one that you've met in your travels? Um, I, Glenn Gregory was really nice from Heaven 17. He was a lovely guy. Absolutely, uh, he, um, he really liked us. Um, and um, he, was, he was a very nice chap as well. He's very tall, very tall. Um, so I liked uh, him. And also uh, Tony Hadley course from Spandau sure, Ballet, sure, yeah. um, who's a very nice chap and again he's really tall as well he's a huge guy maybe they uh, maybe they were all tall in the 80s I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Greg uh, you know in the 11 12 years that you guys have been doing this show has there been a funny moment or kind of like a mini disaster you know that you care to mention um, uh, well there's um, oh yes oh yes there's, um, there was, once was a, a guy who came dressed as a Rubik's Cube <laughs> Um, and he was he was j uh, jumping around at the front, uh, and then all of a sudden he disappeared, and he's completely fallen over because he couldn't keep upright in his costume. Um, that was quite funny. Um, but we've had uh, lots of dramatic moments as well. Even only last week we had a we had a blowout on one of our vans on the way to a, oh, right. to, a uh, to a gig. One of the tyres blew out, and were, uh, one of our vans was very late getting there, and we literally got set up and had um, just five minutes to spare before the before the uh, theatre opened so it was literally sort of cutting it very very finely but these things happen all the time sure. and all you've got to do is get over it and, and the show must go on as they say greg i guess the rubik's cube guy in the day they would have called him a square but uh... <laughs> yes definitely <laughs> i just saw him dancing around at the front and then he wasn't there anymore <laughs> greg finally can you tell us where listeners can get more information about the show and your work um certainly you can go onto our website at 80smaniashow.com um, or look us up on Facebook, of course, 80s Mania. Um, or if you want tickets uh, specifically for the, uh, the Haymarket in Leicester, you can also go to their website, of course, uh, because later in this year, uh, this, during this month, I think it's the 27th, is that right? Absolutely. I think it's the 27th that we're there, so um, we'd all love to see you, of course. Fantastic. Greg, many thanks for taking the time out to talk to us today, and we hope you have a very successful tour with your 80s Mania show. Thank you, Greg. Great stuff. Thanks for talking. Fantastic, Greg. Thanks for that.